come to stand at the top of your mat, take your feet hip distance apart, and then take your toes and peel them up off your mat, and then slowly ground them down. Take your arms alongside you, palms facing in front, draw your shoulders down and away from the ears, close the eyes, take two breaths here. One more breath. Open the eyes. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up into the air. Palms can touch. Exhale, swan dive forward. Take a bend into your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands can come to the shins. Exhale, hands to your mat. Step back with your right foot and then your left foot to high plank. Hold. Strong in the core. Eyeballs forward. Shoulders right over the heels of the hands. Take an inhale and downward facing dog. Exhale. Pedal out your feet. One more round. Good. Then bend your knees and drop your knees to the mat. Take your shoulders, line them up over the heels of the hands. Extend your right leg back behind you. Square your hip down and flex your toes down. Reach your left arm directly in front. Take an inhale here. Bend your back knee, reach back with your left hand. See if you can grab the top of the foot and then start to stretch the leg up. Kick the foot into the palm, palm into the foot. Gaze down for balance. One more breath. And then release down to the mat. Extend your left leg back behind you. Square your hip down, flex the toes down. Once you find your stability, reach your right arm out in front of you. Find your balance. Bend your back knee, reach back with your right hand, grab the top of the foot, and then start to stretch the leg up into the air. Gaze down. One more breath. Good, then release back into your table. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Send the hips up high and back. Good, then start to walk your hands to your feet. So you're at the back of your mat in a forward fold. Start to toe heel the feet wider than hip distance, but not as wide as mat's width. Bend into your right knee as the left leg straightens. Come on to fingertips. Inhale your chest forward and long. And then exhale, start to fold towards your legs, keeping the bend into your right knee and the left leg stays straight. One more breath here. Good, come out of the fold back into a halfway. Keep the legs where they are. Take an inhale as the left arm start to stretch up into the air, reaching to the sky. So you're twisting towards that left leg. And then maybe bend the elbow behind you. See if you can clasp your front thigh, your right thigh there. Spin the chest open. One more breath. And then releasing the hand down to the mat. Bend into your left knee as the right leg starts to straighten. Toes are forward. Inhale, chest forward and long. Exhale, start to fold over the legs. One more breath. Come all the way out of the fold. Keep the left palm on the mat. Inhale, your right arm twists up. So you're twisting towards that straightened right leg. Keep the hips pinning back. And then maybe bend that arm behind you. See if you can clasp your front thigh, that left thigh. Spin the chest open. One more breath. And then releasing the hands down to the mat. Straighten both legs. Then take your hands behind the backs of each leg. Inhale, chest forward. And then exhale, start to fold. No worries if there's a bend into your knees. Just see if you can release the head and the neck fully so we're not holding any tension there. One more full breath. Good, come all the way out of the fold. Start to walk the hands forward back into your downward facing dog. And then from here, 
bend your knees, look to your hands, step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee down, sink the hips low. When you're ready, inhale, arms reach all the way up into the air. So keep your front knee over your front ankle, draw your pelvis down and forward, chest is up, heart is lifted, shoulders stay soft. One more breath. Good, then start to take your left arm across the body as the right arm comes underneath grabbing the opposite shoulder. Keep the pelvis down, gaze is forward. One more breath. Nice. Take the hands to the mat. Pick your back knee up off the ground. Keep the heel lifted. Walk your hands back as you straighten your front leg. So now you're in a wide stance. If it's too long, step your back foot in a touch and you can spin the heel down. Take your right hand to your right hip. Corkscrew the hip back so you'll immediately feel the stretch in your front hamstring. Release the hand back onto the mat. Inhale, chest forward. And then exhale, start to fold over that front thigh. Every inhale, see if you can find length. And every exhale, see if you can fold. Give yourself one more full round. Bend into your front knee as you walk the palms forward. Root them down. Step your right foot back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog or Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. One full breath. Bend your knees, look forward, step your left foot to the top of your mat. Drop your back knee down, find the foundation in the pelvis, reach your arms all the way up when you're ready. Tuck your lower belly in, but let the heart lift up. See if you can find an inward rotation of the arms so maybe the pinkies can face one another. One more breath here. And taking your right arm across your body as the left arm sweeps underneath, grabbing the opposite shoulder. Maintain the stability in the legs. One more breath. Hands to the mat. Pick your back knee up off the ground, keeping the heel nice and high. Walk your hands back as the front leg starts to straighten. Take your left hand to your left hip. Start to corkscrew the hip back. And you'll immediately feel a stretch in that front hamstring. Keep it there, releasing the hand back onto your mat. Inhale, chest forward and long. Exhale, start to fold. Two more breaths. Every inhale, you can find some length. And every exhale, you can fold maybe a touch closer. One more breath. Good. Start to bend into your front knee. Walk the palms forward. Place them onto the mat. Step back with your left foot. Inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale. Cobra or upward facing. Inhale. Downward facing. Exhale. Take one full breath. Bend your knees, look to your hands, step your left foot forward, then your right foot. Inhale halfway. Exhale forward fold. Inhale root to rise, arms reach all the way up into the air. And hands to your heart, Samasitihi. Good, take your hands to your hips. Toe heel your feet about hip distance apart. Ground down through your left leg. This is gonna be your standing leg. Then start to bend your right knee in towards the chest, getting the thigh parallel to the floor, flexing your right toes. See if you can find some balance here. Navel draws right to the spine. One more breath. Good, then release that right foot back to the mat. Rooting down through your right leg now. Start to bend that left knee up and towards the chest. Thigh is parallel, flexing through the toes. Get long through the spine. Crown of the head is reaching up. 
Find your balance. One more breath. And then start to release that left foot to the mat. Take your toes together, heels are slightly apart. Bend your knees, sink into your hips, chair pose, Utkatasana. Navel to spine, tailbone tucks under, soften the shoulders down, and then start to sink a little lower. And then a little lower. And then a little lower. And then maybe your butt can sit up on your heels. And then releasing the butt to the mat. Good, take your arms back, back alongside you. Scoot your bum back a touch. Straighten your legs out in front of you. Reach your arms out in front of you and then start to slowly descend right onto your back. Bend your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a final hug. Beginning to send some gratitude to yourself and thanking your body for carrying you through your practice. And then slowly begin to lengthen those legs straight out onto your mat. Take the mats width apart. Arms are alongside you. Take them wider than usual. Palms facing up. Let the ankles fall. Let the fingers fall. Tuck the shoulders to lift the heart. And then tuck the chin so there's length in the neck. Soften the space between the eyes. And let the tongue draw away from the roof of your mouth. And when your body is ready to come all the way up, take your legs and heels together. Draw your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a final hug. Rolling over to your right hand side, pausing here for a moment. And then pushing off that left hand keeping the eyes closed come all the way to a comfortable seated position taking your hands to your heart namaste